So how do you travel around Winnipeg? Uh, you know what? I usually drive. Uh, I also walk and I cycle. And why do you think people feel unsafe riding on Winnipeg streets? Well, I don't know if everybody feels unsafe, but there there are a lot of people, certainly cycling, that have, have told me that they do feel unsafe. I think it's just a prop, you know, the signage isn't always uh, as ideal as it could be. Uh, I think speed limits play a part of that as well. And uh, we just need to do a better job of, of promoting the fact that there are places where you can cycle and, and places where you can, you can walk safely. What would you see changing at City Hall that would make a difference in the first four years? Well, the first thing is, I mean, we, we need to have a City Hall that says the cycling is a priority. And that's why the Build Winnipeg partnership that I've proposed has cycling, it has active transit, it has uh, bus transit, including rapid transit, and, and cars uh, on an equal footing. It has them around the table so we can plan properly. And I think it sends a sen I, I want it to send a very powerful signal to, to Winnipeg uh, that if I'm given the opportunity to serve, that I place a, an equal priority on, on these uh, forms of transportation. I mean, they're all important. They, they need to be interrelated and they need to be planned properly. And so the first thing is, of course, just saying this is important, that this is a priority. It's not just about the environmental benefits, it's not just about the health benefits, but for a, a city that's growing. I mean, the Conference Board of Canada is saying that Winnipeg and surrounding area are going to reach about a million people uh, in 20 years. And if that's going to happen with the way we currently plan and the way we currently commute, that's going to be a challenge. So the opportunity with this election is to take a new course, take a, a better course, and to, and to start really actively planning for a larger population of how we're going to get everybody moving around in a way that makes sense. And, uh, and I think all three forms of transportation are really important. What would it take to make Winnipeg bike friendly in all seasons? Well, in all seasons, it's going to come down to proper planning, and it's also going to come down to just prioritizing the resources to get the job done. So in the summer, for instance, it's going to be proper signage. It's going to be looking at, uh, uh, at, at creative ways to make use of existing spaces so that cars and cyclists can, can cohabitate uh, the transportation routes. And so uh, in some cases, that's going to mean dedicated bike lanes. In other, in other uh, situations, it's going to mean splitting sidewalks between pedestrian, walking traffic, and, and cyclists. Uh, in the winter, for instance, though, the big thing is snow clearing. And so one of the things that we're going to need to do is say that this is a priority, is, is making sure that there's snow clearing in areas where cyclists are moving so that we can keep them as far away from cars as possible to reduce the number of collisions.